Welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna to be doing the catalytic converter delete on the C4 over here. Uh, so my original plan going into this was that I was going to try to source the flanges and get a piece of three inch tubing and kind of make my own delete pipe and I could just uh, swap it out with a factory cat. Uh, I couldn't find the flanges and I figured it would just probably take me way too long to actually hand make the flanges with the tools that I have here. So my plan is now is that we're gonna just take the cat out and we're gonna section out the cat, use the factory flanges and put the tubing right in there, weld it up, heat paint it and bolt it right back up in the car. Uh, so this is kind of like a little DIY thing. So if you don't have a welder or anything like that, you can pull it out, measure it, cut it, uh, go to your local muffler shop or a shop or any kind of like, you know, friend with a welder or something like that And then they can weld that up for you if you don't have that uh, So what we're gonna go ahead and do is jack the car up and I'm going to try to loosen the rear exhaust muffler pipe section and just kind of sneak the cat out if I can't I'm just gonna unbolt the whole muffler pipe section It'll probably be easier that way anyway pull the cat out get it on the bench take a couple quick measurements, uh, cut it, get the new piece in there, weld it up, and go back together with it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm underneath the car here looking at the cat. So this is the back part of it. There's four bolts for these flanges here, and they're both 9 16 heads and nuts on that. So we're gonna unbolt those here, and then, then also up front here, same thing, four 9 16 and there's some heat shields around it too. Uh, we may have to loosen or take off just to get this out. So my plan is, like I said before, is I'm just gonna loosen this back part here and maybe just kind of pull it backwards just to keep it up in the car, especially if you're doing all this by yourself. Uh, if not, you probably need somebody else just to help you lower the whole uh, rear muffler pipe section down. Uh, another thing too is that this pipe here that runs all the way up to the engine, with part of the smog pump, I'm gonna get that out of there because that hooks up to the cat so we're gonna to have to cut that off anyway since it's just gonna be a, a straight piece right in here. So we're gonna cut that off and just get that whole thing out of the car. So we're gonna go ahead and just start taking this stuff off now. I've got the back side of the flange unbolted here. Everything came out really easy. So 916 bolts, undo those. The heat shield back here, 10 millimeters or 3 8 on either side. And then what I ended up doing was, I have my support bracket here, I unbolted that, but I have a ratchet strap around here. And then I have it going right back to the bumper support. And I just pull back on it ever so gently. And it gives you a nice little gap, right like that. And that'll give you enough room to get it out and then go back together with it, with the gaskets, without having to drop the whole mid pipe down. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt the front. All right, now I'm on the front flange. Uh, the only thing you will need is a swivel, 3 8 swivel and a little bit of an extension to get to these top bolts here on either side. All right, so I left the last bolt in here. I started loosening it and the cat's starting to fall out. So this is a good time to go ahead and make a cut right here. I've got a little cutoff wheel tool. I'm just gonna make a cut right here and then drop this out. And then we'll worry about getting the rest of this pipe out once we get this out of here. And there you go. That's pretty easy. While I'm under here, there's these two 10 millimeter bolts holding this tube in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen these up and then we should be able to pull this thing right out of here. And we'll get the rest from underneath the hood. I believe there's a bracket up by the header. Now, my car has a smog pump delete on it and this other end up by the engine, by the exhaust manifold, is already capped off. If you still have your smog pump on there, you may have to either cap this off or um, you know, just delete it and get rid of it all in general because it's no longer gonna be hooked up to the cat. All right, so I have the cat on the bench. Did a quick measurement from flange to flange. It's 16 inches. So my plan is to cut right in here, right after this weld here, because it looks like this flange part here is wider because it's actually an oval shape instead of being round 
which can be a little bit of an obstacle if you're gonna use round tubing like I'm gonna use. So my plan is to cut the most round part here and same thing over here. Right after this weld, I'm gonna do a straight cut all the way down and get these flanges off. Do a final measurement of this and then cut down my piece of exhaust tubing here and then clean up these surfaces really well with a grinder on both sides and then just tack weld it in, retake these measurements to make sure it's 16 inches and everything's square and then I'll be able to put it back on the car. So besides this tubing here that I purchased, um, I also got two gaskets as well to go back in with it. So we're gonna go ahead and mark this stuff and make some cuts. All right, so this is what the flange looks like cut. So this is the more round end, and that's what I was kind of shooting for, because now that fits just inside there nicely like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up both surfaces really good with the grinder, and then we'll lay a nice bead all the way around this on both sides and do the same for the other side. Okay, with both those flanges prepped and ready to go, it's time to actually cut our length of piping here. So we're just gonna do some basic math. What I ended up doing was I measured now this whole cat here, and I did pretty good straight cut on either end of these, and it's both the same either side, is it's 13 inches. And what else I did was I set this inside of the pipe here, and I squared it up with a right angle, and then I marked it with a marker there, and I'm gonna add that measurement there, which is like 3 eighths of an inch. And I did the same thing with the other flange, which is maybe like an eighth of an inch. And I'm gonna add that on to 13 inches. And I'm gonna take that measurement and I'm gonna cut it right onto this pipe here. And that should give us a total of 16 inches flange to flange like it was originally. So we're gonna go ahead and take those measurements one more time and make sure we're correct cut this tubing and get this squared up and start tacking it into place. Okay, I got my final measurement here and I got it marked off here. So just a quick little tech tip, if you're cutting tubing at home and you don't have a bandsaw, uh, to get a straight accurate measurement all the way around, I did several points of measurement all the way around the tube with a tape measure and then you get ahead with a piece of masking tape that's flat and then you can connect all those dots together and the tape will meet up and meet up on an even line all the way around. Now be sure that wherever your mark is, you're still gonna have the kerf or the thickness of the blade to cut through there. So you wanna cut on the outside here of this tape. And when I measured it to here, it was 13 and a half inches was the exact measurement and I double checked it all the way around. So just a little quick tip if you're just kinda of cutting with whatever you have. Uh, I'm using a Sawzall blade a 12 inch one and uh, I just kind of lay it on top and let it do its work and just make sure it's lined up in there and that's it'll it'll do the job for this at least so it'd be nice to have a bandsaw but I don't have one at the moment so we're just going to use what we have okay now I'm just going to start with one side here uh, I'm going to actually use a level and do both sides on a flat level surface and I'm going to level this out here and I'm going to tack it in place and once I do that I'll square up the other side and double check my measurement Okay, that side's tacked in. So what I did was I laid it down on a flat surface so these flanges are clocked the same way. So they're not just a little crooked or anything like that. Flat surface like that. And then now I'm gonna use a right angle here to get this flat in there. And I squared it up by taking measurements on either side to make sure it came out to 16 inches again. So right now I got everything ready. I'm gonna tack this in on both sides and double check measurements. And then I can get ahead and just weld this thing up. All right, so I got this fully welded here and this is the finished product here. So it turned out pretty good for using the old flanges and a new piece of tubing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with this uh, VHT high temp header paint. It's this silver color. So go ahead and paint this, let it dry up and then we'll get it back on the car. All right, here you go. It's all painted and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and just start hanging this back on the car. Okay, so if anybody is interested in doing this, I put together a set with 
uh, a piece of tubing and two gaskets and I'll leave a link in the description so you can uh, purchase this um, and what I ended up doing was we'll make these flange to flange and if you decide to actually cut it off completely at the flange you'll have enough tubing to make that work uh, if not if you chose to go the route that I did and just cut it at the shorter length you would just have to cut it down the size and make it fit uh, to that dimension, the 16 inches that this uh, falls within there. But I figured, you know, if anybody's interested in doing that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can just buy this in, in one shot and just cut it and you'll have everything you need to do this delete. Okay, you got it all back together. Everything bolted up really nicely too. So my measurements were right on there. Everything lined up nicely. It's probably the nicest looking piece of this exhaust, but it turned out good. So we're gonna get it back down on the ground and fire it up. So just got back from the test drive. Car ran really good. Sounded actually really good too. I don't know if you heard it. Cold start. Sounded a lot louder. Definitely has like deeper exhaust notes too when you're driving. It probably freed up the exhaust a lot too. So in my opinion, it's definitely worth doing. It's kind of fun to do too. So if you enjoyed the video, press like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.